Hello, Leo. Thank you for stopping by. This is Elizabeth. I hope your week went well, by the way. Oh, I'm going to look into the third week or the fourth week message in August for you and take in what resonates and leave the rest. I also like to thank you for those who subscribe, like, share, and comment so others can see the message as well and so help my small channel to grow too. All right, so on card on decks are shuffling already. Let's take a look into your message. I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. Here we go. Your first week of message, you have six of swords. Look like some of you may moving yourself from a cloudy darkness to a different location. Or perhaps some of you traveling on vacation, seeing um, places. So also maybe at the end of your challenging time for you now, you in one's location, you move to a different location or changing one job, you know, from one department to different department or from, you know, uh, maybe you totally just change your industry, period. So things are looking up for you at this point. And this is a welcome of no relief. Uh, leave the own, uh, own path behind. So you're moving forward to the new beginning. And maybe you're fighting your way to the peaceful place. Obviously, you move from the sun, dark cloudiness, you know, trend for yourself or moving yourself away. So this is the end of your depression or your own situation or your illness or your own problems, moving or traveling, relocate for some of you. You have Ace of Swords. So you have two swords, Eight of Swords coming to your, to your reading here. This is um, perhaps um, idea, the thought, the word you're speaking, the written communication. Now also, you know, some of you maybe uh, have a brilliant idea that may need refinement. And you could overcome or overcoming obstacle with faith that everything will work out for you. Make sure in the swords, in the idea and the word and that's, you know, the written you speaking, the communication period need to be clear and need to be concisely and uh, make sure that you remain uh, clear, remain objective. Wow, look at that. You have a energies of the sun coming to your reading here and the happiness everything's a glowing everything's a bright everything's a bring out into a sunlight in the light you can see things better you know you can see your inner child come out and runnings and playing and the flowers are blooming and glowing and the times are perfectly for you now this is a time for you of a great joy, great happiness, great success, a brilliant um, epiphany that lead to a magical opportunity for you now. Some of you are planting seed now. Plan and plan that you work on is turned out perfectly for you. Be gratitude, thankful, and you know, shout out for your abundance here. All right, so let's take a look further. You have a two of one, so this is a journey. Looking into forward of your future, you want to take action. You want to, you know, have that creation and creativities uh, take further into your journey here. That making sense because here you travel, now you're looking forwards, and so you do. You do have looking, you know, in, into your bright future here, and you did traveling, making that effort 
into your uh, bright future take your action there look at this so you have a uh, six of cup into your reading perhaps the concise uh, creation communication clearly need to perhaps apply to the six of cup maybe the the own you know the own memory lane their own childhood their own children and the child um, uh, coming out and you know play so perhaps that's a clear message letting you know that you know whatever that worked in the past it working out even though that was ended but now it's coming back perhaps some of you have a own friends and own uh, colleagues or own lover return to you offering a flower sincereness want to take that into the future you can see so don't be hesitant think clearly you know reassess your situation and take accept those apology and move on let your inner child come out and play like the sun here right so you want you you want to uh, make your inner child happy so take those options and move forward leo look at that you have a higher event coming into your reading um, stay true stay uh, in your lane stay um, uh, gratefulness because no matter what you do, if you read righteousness and be truth and always taking truth and be, you know, be a leader or mentor for other, even yourself, that stay in your truth of communication, live righteousness and everything will turn out for you like the energy of the sun time of great joy and success for you and things that you do will lead to many 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 more opportunity and when you plant your seed be example people know this is leo this is how leo like to do things so people will look up to you okay so let's take a look into more message here oh my goodness now you have a sun again you have the energies of the sun on this uh, deck and also you have energies of the sun for the tarot deck this is tarot deck this is tarot um, oracle deck so you have two sun so it want to remind you Leo that when you have two sun coming out look at how the sun is bright the sun is bright the sunflowers are blooming the chai coming out running and praying singing go around here time of great joy time of super success time of to uh to enjoy your plan that you put into work it worked out for you and you know be glad to remind you that this week you are going to have a happiness whatever you are doing uh, in your week here look at that now i pulling the oracle of the tarot deck it's the world not just the sun now it's the world things are moving right things are moving for you things are turning this is brilliant success by the way uh, a time of joyful accomplished look how much more joyful that you are having now in the energies of the sun and the world maybe some of you may take a spiritual enlightenment look at that high front as well kind of go together right here a freedom to do whatever you want your heart desire uh, your uh, dream so be proud of yourself okay so you have a happiness and now your cycle are completed 
and now you can sit back and enjoy your journey now, Leo. Let's see the uh, message from Angel of Abundance. Tell you to have courage to ask for help and accept help. Maybe in your lifetime, you do nothing but help other people, right? And so now is remind you, Leo, that Leo can accept the help, can ask for help. This is not a sign of any weakness. When you ask for help, it's a significant strength. And as accepting it, it's, you know, it is offered to you, okay? So make sure that you accept help and ask for help. You know, people around you can assist you. Sometimes the universe send the help by the spiritual guy or by sending someone to come assist you. So never feel like you have to do things alone, even moving or planning into the future or even accept the forgiveness or uh, apology from the own past. And even with communication, you know, sometimes you ask for a guidance. It will lead you to hear the happiness. Things uh, bring into the light. Things are coming together. Things are complete. It's cycle. Now you enjoy your um, journey with no doubt and no question. Let's take a look into the Oracle deck message. Oh, you have strength, okay? Making sure you have enough strength to push forward with your journey. Now your cycle complete. You can do whatever you like as your heart desire. You have ability and strength to see what direction you need to go. Also, you have enough strength to make move. You have enough strength to ask for help, accept the help. That's a sign of being strong and strength, by the way, Leo. So that's your message for this coming week, Leo. Take care.